welcome students today we would be discussing simple interest and compound interest in comparing quantities chapter of class 8 so let's take a look at what is simple interest and what is compound interest first let us find out what is interest interest is the extra money paid by an institution like banks or post offices on money deposited or kept with them interest is also paid by the people when they borrow money so if you kept money in the bank you will get interest if you take money from bank you have to give interest to the bank so what is simple interest let us take a look at some terms to define simple interest first is principal which is denoted by letter p the it is the original sum of money loaned or deposit it is also known as capital time that is denoted by t the duration for which the money is borrowed or deposited it is generally given in terms of years rate of interest which is denoted by letter r the percentage of interest that you pay for money borrowed or earned for money deposited it is also given generally per annum so simple interest is calculated as si is equal to p into r into t divided by 100 so total amount at the end of time period will be given by amount is equal to principal plus simple interest so if you have taken loan for two years the simple interest would be given by principal into r into 2 divided by 100 so that was all about simple interest now let's take a look at compound interest again we need to define certain terms here principal p we already know that that is the original sum of money loaned and deposited time and here the duration for which the money is borrowed or deposited rate of interest the percentage of interest that you pay for money borrowed or earned for money deposited now compound interest is very different from simple interest compound interest is the interest calculated on previous year's amount that is amount is equal to p plus i so for first year the amount would be given by principal plus simple interest for second year the interest would be given on the total amount of previous year let's take a look at this for first year the amount would be calculated as a is equal to p plus p into r by 100 and that is equal to p bracket 1 plus r by 100 now for second year the interest would be charged on the previous year amount so the final amount of the second year would be given by a is equal to principal now the principal is the previous year amount so it will be p into bracket 1 plus r by 100 plus the interest on that previous year amount so that will be given by pre bracket 1 plus r by 100 bracket close into r by 100 now that can be written as p bracket 1 plus r by 100 to the power 2 so for n years the amount would be given by a is equal to p bracket 1 plus r by 100 bracket close to the power n so the upper formula is for interest compounded annually so you can see that compound interest is much greater than the simple interest now let's take a look at some other formulas also compound interest formula if the interest is compounded half yearly would begin by a is equal to p bracket 1 plus r by 200 bracket close to the power 2n where r by 2 is the half yearly rate and 2n is the number of half years similarly for compound interest quarterly the formula will, would be given as a is equal to p bracket 1 plus r by 400 bracket close to the power 4n and we can easily see that compound interest is always written in simple interest for more notes and study material please visit our website physiscatalyst.com